Yo, what is going on guys? It is Zed from More Zed here back with another episode of Pokemon Black. Finally uploading another episode after 3 months, but I'm very sorry guys, Grade 11 has been very busy for me. And I'll show you a team recap. Corpu and Kua are down, and they battled very sh well. And um, question of the day today is, what is your favorite movie guys? And for me, my favorite movie would have to be this movie called Searching. If you ever get the opportunity to watch it, you should as it's a really cool movie and has a lot of plot twists as well. And oh, it seems like Team Plasma's here. Now you wait, you're not fooling around. I wonder what they're doing this time. So you've come, Gym Leader. We Team Plasma claim this museum's Dragon Skull in the name of... Pokemon Liberation. To show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Well, then here's our smoke screen. Alright, so it seems like they're going to be stealing... The Dragon Skull. Which, you guys can tell because it's in the thumbnail. But yeah, once again guys, I'm sorry, but we have to do another episode of Battling Team Plasma. But yeah, back on searching, if you guys want to know what um genre it is, it's a uh, thriller genre. Also, let's just head on out of here, because we need to go look for Team Plasma. Oh, who's this? Good day, Lenora. Find any good fossils lately? This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? Zed, this is Berg. He may not look like me. Oh, so this guy, Berg, is going to be the next gym bat. The next gym leader, I mean, that we're going to battle. Eh, just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. Well, but yeah, it is because these thugs just stole the um skull. Oh, it looks like Charon and Bianca is here. Zed, is there some kind of problem? Well, yeah, there is. And these two are, yep. Alright, so now it looks like we're going to be splitting up. Everyone, Charon and Bianca, I want you to stay- Nah, fam, what the- They get to have the easy way while I have the hard way. I have to go with Berg. Oh, uh, you were Zed. Yes, I am. Alright, well, it looks like I have to go to the Pinwheel Forest today. In this episode. Oh, Zed, take this with you. Oh, it looks like we're getting a dowsing machine. This is nice. If you guys don't know what a dowsing machine does, basically you can find hidden items with it, and it's really cool. Like, you can find master balls, rare items and stuff. I'm going to be using this a lot of camera so I can get, like, super potions, maybe, like, even a hyper potion, just so I don't have to waste as much. And to save some time, I'm going to be doing a cut right after... I finish healing up my Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, well I'm back and I just finished healing up my Pokemon and now they are ready to go into the Pinwheel Forest. But first I'm going to be battling this trainer. Alright, so we're battling... Nurse Sherry. They're gonna release a Muna. That's pretty good. Well, not release, but like, they're gonna use a Muna. It's kind of ironic that they're gonna release a Muna because they caught the Pokemon. But yeah, let's just go for our uh, workup so we can get our stats up. Alright, that didn't do much damage. Let's go for a quick attack. For one hit KO. Oh. Nope, that wasn't a one-hit KO. Another quick attack, let's go. And Muna is down. We gained a lot of XP, that's pretty good. We're on the way to level 19. Tough turn, alright. Let's go, so... The reason why I battled this nurse is because in Pokemon games, battling a nurse pretty much enables you to like have another... um. Pokemon center person and yeah, I found this item here while walking and it's an ether So I'll just pick that up And now let's head on into the pinwheel forest All 
All right, so we've made it to Pinwall Forest, and ooh, here's Berg. Well, you see, there are two ways out of the Pinwall Forest. Yep, the road that goes straight into the woods. All right, so it looks like we have to go through these woods. And just a warning, guys, heads up. There's going to be a lot of battle skipping in this episode because... I have to do a lot of battling because... Yeah, Team Plasma. I kind of want to go up here, but like, no, we can't. So, yeah, let's just battle these twins first. And I'll skip over this. Alright, so we did a pretty easy battle, and look, oh look, there's a Team Plasma grunt over here. You stubborn brat. Ooh, he's kind of cruel. But yeah, I'm not going to be skipping this battle, because I want to skip most battles, but I don't want to skip all of them, if you know what I mean. Alright, so we're challenged by Team Plasma grunt, who's going to send out a Sand Isle. Go Corpo 87. Um, to be honest guys, I'm just going to switch, because here's the thing. We can have, we have two Pokemon with the type advantage, and Zaya is way out over leveled compared to this Sand Isle. Alright, so Zaya, let's just go for a Leaf Tornado. Yep, we learnt Leaf Tornado, which is pretty good. One hit KO, let's go! With that, Sand Isle's down. Zaya evolved to level 20 as well. And Zai also learnt a new Pokemon move. Wow, that's really good. One battle, a KO, a level up, and a new move. Awesome. But yeah, we just taught Zai Leech Seed and defeated this Grunt. Too bad I haven't gotten anything. Okay, then. Also, guys, I'm going to be uh, switching my Pokemon... And who I'm going to put up front, I'm going to put Q up in front. Oh, my bad, I didn't intend to do that. Sorry about that. And let's just head on through this. And it looks like there's another Team Plasma Grunt. My, my, could you be looking for something? And once again, I'm not going to be skipping this battle because just like the last battle, Team Plasma battles are relatively easy compared to like trainer battles, to be honest. So I'm going to send out a Purloin. And go QR. QR will go for a um Yeah, let's just go for workups so we get our attack stat ups. Oh critical hit, nah, what the Alright, so due to the critical hit, I'm gonna be switching Pokemon. Also guys, sorry about the game lag. Yeah, it's still here, but aside from that, the screen pretty much fits now. It's not like a bit wonky or anything. Like there's no top bar in the bottom screen. But let's go for a takedown. There we have it. Another one hit KO. Well, that was another easy battle. Which was pretty nice. Also, I decided to skip because of um, so much walking. And I'll be skipping this battle as well. Alright, so we're done with that battle with that youngster. 
And I'll just go right ahead and what's it called? Cure my cure from poisoning because he had gotten some poisoning during that battle. It looks like we have a wild battle with a Sawaddle. Alright, so I'm just going to run from this because we have so many battles to do. There's really no point. Are you serious? Oh wow, nice. It's a pit of. But the thing is, is that I'm just going to run away from wild battles. Because the thing is, is that we have so many battles. But I'm just going to do this one. Oh, that was nearly one hit KO. But the thing is, is that I guess I could just do this one. But for most wild battles in this episode, I'll just skip them because... We have so many trainer battles. There we have it, Pidov is down. Alright, so... I should go ahead and... Wait. Oh crap! Oh. Well, I didn't really stock up that much. Kind of my fault. Crap. Well, if you guys were wondering what I was doing, I was trying to find some, um... What is it? Antidotes. But I didn't think about stocking up on any. Crap. Well, I'm not in a good position. Let's get this item here. Oh, nice. Antidote. That's a pretty good fix. But crap, bro. I should have stocked up. Alright, looks like we have a trainer here, and I'm going to be skipping over it. Alright, so we're done with this, and oh cool, we got a berry as well, a Chester berry. Hopefully from one of these Hydro people, we get um, a Pekka berry, or Petra berry. That berry basically is like an antidote. And I'm going to be skipping over again. Now, so I did some skipping over, and looks like we have another Hydro person here. So my bad for saying hide a person should be hiding. Oh nice, we got a Pekka Berry. But my bad for saying hide a person should be hiding person. So there should be a hiding person in this... Nope. Wait, let's see. Nope. No hiding person there. And look, but look who's up here. A Team Plasma Grunt. Just like the last two battles of Team Plasma, I'm not going to be skipping them as... They have like the easiest battles in this whole forest to be honest. It's kind of sad when you're the evil team, but you're weaker than every other trainer. Let's go for a, yeah, Leaf Tornado. Ah, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Come on. Oh, he's gonna go for Bide. Well, uh, hopefully I can get this patch right out bef before he unleashes his energy because a few episodes ago, my cure nearly fainted because I gave a lot of... I attacked Patrat a lot. Oh good, it did. But anyway, so when Patrat does bide, the energy I unleashes determines on like how much damage you do to it. So a lot of damage makes Patrat um, pretty much nearly faint your Pokemon. Looks like a hiding person could be here as well to be honest. Nope, there was no hiding person there. But there's an item here, so that's pretty good. Well, that's handy. Paralyzed heal. I wish it was an antidote, though, but good enough. Yep, hiding person is right here.
But we just defeated that ranger. Yeah, it's called a ranger, by the way, guys. The reason why I called it hiding person all this time is because they didn't really mention it before. Not everyone who's watching this has played Pokemon and would really know what a ranger is, to be honest. But yeah, let's just make our way forward and ooh, look. A Team Plasma Grunt. Well, we're done with that battle, and let's go, we got the Dragon Skull back, woo! And if you guys are wondering why I decided to speed up that battle, it's because that Team Plasma Grunt had more than one Pokemon, unlike the others. Oh, well, look who's here. A Team Plasma Sage, Gorm. Gorm of the Seven Sages. Oh. Of course it was stolen from you easily, dummy. And oh look, it's Berg here. Oh sweet. What do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. Nice rhyming you got there. Said Berg. The others don't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this the guy the big boss? One of the seven sages, yep. Gorm. But yeah guys, um... I'm just letting you guys know I'm on school holidays right now, which is why I'm able to record. However, I don't really think I could get like another episode out, to be honest. Just letting you guys know. This time we shall retreat quickly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from- Nah. Off. They're too weak to steal anyways. They're a speedy bunch. Yeah. Hmm. We got back the stolen skull and we cornered them. There's to tell- Yeah, that's facts. Well now, I'll be waiting for you to challenge at Castilia City's Pokemon Gym. Alright guys, so that's gonna be happening in a few episodes. We're gonna be battling Berg. But yeah, I'm really sorry about like, all these like, Team Plasma episodes. Zed gave the Dragon Skull, yep. But yeah, that's like, the thing like, what I find about entertaining is there's so much battling in Gen 5. But yeah, to be honest, like, Recording it isn't as interesting. Oh, cool. We got a moonstone. This is a moonstone. Yep. You can evolve Pokemon with it. Alright, but... Oh, finally, we're done with all that battling today. That's pretty good. Oh, nice. An item. A miracle seed. That's That can come in handy because that can boost like the attack stat of Zai's moves, right? Let's just run past all through these trainers, head out to the bridge. Alright, so next episode we'll be crossing that bridge into Castilia City, which is out in the distance over there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and peace.